Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here on a Screenwriter's Rant. We're going to take a look at a trailer for Our Ladies. Uh, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books, Woke Us Down, a novel, and The Pineys, available at Amazon in ebook, trade paperback, and Kindle Unlimited. All right. Let's take a look. Of course, the trailer before the it trailer. It was a different time then. I hate. Before social media and mobile phones changed everything forever. It was 1996. 1996. It was over 20 years ago now. Ugh. Some of you are going to Edinburgh for the first time today. You will carry yourselves with grace. But I must warn you, there are men there that would use and discard girls like you. Yes, Vanilla? See when you say use and discard, sister? What do you mean? <laughs> um, I love accents. And uh, so I could listen to this trailer all day, really. Now, Vanilla, she was the leader. We should do an all-nighter. Let's meet up in what? Two hours? Shell could get boys like a Catholic girl. Hello, Edinburgh, open your legs. <laughs> <laughs> you are mental. Kyla had a voice, but she was devious too. What do you think of those two? About as much fun as a day at the morgue. Amanda was the comedian. <laughs> a bit of citation from the Vatican at this rate. <laughs> and me? I was waiting for a miracle. I'm Stephen with a PH. Or La. Oh, with a La. <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, it's character driven. That's why it's good. Um, these girls aren't just a monolith for beating you over the head with feminist ideas. Uh, the this see they shouldn't have they shouldn't market this as girl power movie. Um, because that lumps it in with those terrible, terrible movies where they beat you over the head with the message. This is just a good coming of age type movie that just happens to take place in Scotland in a particular period of time. So it feels personal and genuine. Um, there's a lot of detail in it already. And I feel like I'm watching the movie and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm sucked in. I want to see more. We've always been best pals. Without each other, do you know where we're going? Woolworths. Pregnant as soon as possible to a guy with a job. That town's a bloody graveyard for us. We could get into uni. We've just got different opportunities in life. It was an innocent time. Back in the days when anything... See? Girl power, don't push the girl power angle. You don't need to. This is a perfectly fine movie. Uh, it, it seems you've got animated performances. You've got a, a, an attractive cast. You've got a cool location. And uh, I assume since this was made in Scotland, it was probably already released, and now it's being released here. You know, it's a high-quality movie. Don't try to put the agenda on it. Anything was possible. That's beautiful. What a day. It's not often you get what you pray for, is it? Fresh meat. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, it looks fun. Um, it, because these characters look real. They're not, you know preaching to me about women's empowerment or something. They're doing what young girls do. They're going out, they're having a good time, they're getting drunk, they're finding boys, they're getting into trouble. Um, this is the kind of movie people like because it's entertaining to watch characters entertain themselves. Um, you can kind of see where it's going. So it's going to be first act, they're in school, and you see how their life has been up until this point. Then it's um, the second act, like they're going on this trip and... You know, the, the end is coming for school. They're going out in the real world soon. And uh, the leader, uh, I can't even pronounce that name. <laughs> she, she leads them on a bender in Edinburgh. 
Uh, they're in the big city for the first time. They get in all sorts of trouble. And then, uh, you know, the third act is probably like, um, you know, super bad. Like the coming of age, they're all going to go their separate ways soon. They're going to try to stay in touch, but it's hard. And, uh, you know, and then it'll hopefully be a little, little wrap up what happened to them all and voiceover and you'll, you'll go, oh, you know, this one did this and this one did that and the choices they made. So, um, yeah, this is totally, I'm totally on board with this movie. I, I don't know if I'd go to the movies, the actual theater to see it. It takes a lot to get me out to the theater these days. But uh, I would certainly, certainly grab this on Netflix. Um, this would be a good date movie, you know? Good date movie, bring, bring, a, bring a girl to because, you know, then it, then it could be something for her too. There would be characters, uh, you know. You don't want to just bring a girl to one of those shoot 'em up movies and, you know, and, and she's half bored out of her mind. But, uh, you know, this is a movie I think uh, anyone could enjoy because they're, they're, they're relatable characters. And uh, I don't sell this as girl power. You're, you're going to turn off uh, people. I mean, this is a straight up nice movie about characters. And I totally endorse it.